Attorney Lenny Robredo, Doctor of Humanities, Honoris Causa, will now deliver her commencement address. Mabalos, let us take our seats. Father Roberto Ezequiel Rivera, Ateneo de Naga University President. Brother Raymond Belleza, Ateneo de Naga University Trustee. Mr. Magno Edelberto Conag, Ateneo de Naga University Trustee. Miss Edna Laguerta, representing her father, uh, Mr. Eduardo Laguerta, our Bulawan Nabicol Non Service to be called awardee. Dr. Alfredo Fabay, VP for Higher Education. Dr. Rachel Casimiro, Shed 5 representative. Father Celerino Reyes, SJ, Ateneo de Naga University trustee. Father Wilmer Tria, President of the Bicol Association of Catholic Schools. Attorney Rene Cornelio Morano III, Ateneo de Naga University General Alumni Association President, the other members of the Board of Trustees, uh, our administrators, faculty and staff, um, the ADNU General Alumni Association, graduates, parents, family members, ladies and gentlemen, marhay na aga po sa idogabos. Coming home to Naga has always provided a welcome respite from the bustle of the capital. Ever since we left the comforts of this city to delve into the world of national leadership and politics, returning has become a cherished opportunity for me to rest, to reflect, and to reorient myself towards the things that truly matter. Here in Naga, I am given plenty of room to collect my thoughts, to look back on how the many steps we've taken have brought us to where we are now, and to look forward to new horizons and plan how to get there. Today is no exception. I stand here before you, honored and humbled, by the conferment of this honoris causa. Happy to celebrate this very important milestone for all of you. Surrounded by many familiar faces within the hallowed grounds of this institution. This is especially a profound moment for me. Even though I myself studied elsewhere, many people I love and admire were graduates of Ateneo de Naga. The three most important men in my life, my father, my husband, and my only brother, spent many memorable years here. The lessons they learned, the values they acquired, forged them into men of integrity and moral courage. They stand as testament to what Athenians can contribute to society. And I am proud to now join their ranks as a fellow alumna with this honoris causa. I have spent some time contemplating the significance of this award, not only for myself, but for all of us gathered here this morning. At the heart of my reflections lies the profound truth that this honor is more than just an individual achievement. It is a recognition of the collective efforts of those who I have been fortunate enough to learn from, to work with over the course of my years in public service. It is always a privilege to have one's life work affirmed, especially by a community like the Ateneo de Naga. But I am also mindful of the reality that I am just one person, among many others, seeking to further the cause of good governance. 
a cause which entails huge responsibilities that extend far beyond my capabilities alone. This reality is also a constant reminder that any progress cannot and should not rest with an individual in the spotlight. It is tempting sometimes to rely on the will of a single leader. Too often, however, we realize that even the best of us sometimes need to be nudged towards new ways of thinking, new paths, new methods, especially given how quickly the world is evolving. And this brings me to the realization. I stand here today not as an endpoint, but as a bridge that connects the struggles, lessons, and achievements of the past with the potential of the future that lies ahead. And our forward movement, if it were truly to be meaningful and sustainable, must be led by those who will still be here when this future arrives. I am aware of how great the challenge can be. Today, we see how traditional political forces seek to reestablish roots even here in Naga when it could not before, to undo decades of progress and bring back old backward ways of governance that perpetuate corrupt politicians, widen the gaps of inequality, and breed downward economic outcomes that we are already beginning to feel now. You bear witness to the persistence of inequality and injustices in your midst, even as you yourselves try to do right by your communities. All of this is happening against a backdrop of wars, climate emergencies, and crisis the world over. The world definitely needs a lot of fixing. And so the questions, where do we even begin? What steps do we need to take? How do we even rise to the challenges of our times? These are questions I have been asking myself since I was your age. And even though I do not have all the answers, the truth of my experience allows me some hindsight and reassurance, which I am very much honored to share with you today. Ultimately, we circle back to a single word that has become my anchorage over the years. Together. We begin by fixing the world together. We step forward towards the horizon of our aspirations together. We rise to any challenge by coming together, by pulling together, by building and bleeding and raising the banners of the things we believe in together. Here in Naga and the rest of Bicolandia, we understand this well. After all, togetherness is just another word for our aspirations, for our city's continued people-centric, people-led style of governance. Nagenios have proven time and again that true progress is the result of collaboration of so many people working in lockstep to pursue a common goal. Our city became one of the foremost examples of good governance because of how we were able to create an environment of empowerment. We proved and continue to prove that the energies of participative democracy can be harnessed that allowing space for each voice to be heard can yield progress. For more than three decades, we have thwarted many attempts for traditional politics to reign over us. Together is what we were when we built this city. And together is what we were 
when people from all walks of life linked up and waged a historical campaign for clean, truthful, accountable governance last year. Together is what we remain as we play the long game for our democracy, fighting to right the systemic wrongs, to assert truths that have become embattled by an entire architecture of lies, to reach the last, the least, and the lost, and loop in into a cycle of inclusiveness and compassion and progress. Together means looking forward to a better future that pushes us to always look around us because we gather strength from the idea that we are never alone. Together is how you stand up whenever the words of primum regnum day thunder during your regular general assemblies or whenever Atenean see each other in gatherings big and small. You sing, we'll fight and win or fight and die. You sing, we, knowing that neither triumph nor defeat can ever matter more than the truth of belonging and solidarity. So to the Ateneo de Naga University community, thank you for the education, the knowledge and wisdom and values that you provide for the youth of Bicolandia. Thank you for being a haven of critical thought and excellence. Most of all, thank you for your unwavering commitment to service. I only ask that you carry on your legacy of providing fertile ground upon which future generations may grow and flourish, where young minds may immerse themselves in our communities, witness firsthand the struggles faced by many in our society, and develop empathy, resilience, and the desire to make a difference. Giraray, congratulations, Batch. 2023. You have all worked hard for this moment, so savor it and celebrate it with the people who supported you and showed up for you every step of the way. Trust that you are capable of much greater heights than what you have already achieved and know that we all look forward to seeing you achieve your dreams. May you, together with each other and the rest of our country's youth, continue the struggle for good governance here in Naga, the rest of Bicolandia, and in the broader Philippine context. And to the selection committee, to those who nominated and vouched for me that I may receive this honor, to those who stood by me, did the work with me, and put their trust in me, just mabalus po sa Indugabos. I hope we continue working together so that the youth who stand before us today can forge a path for progress towards a future where justice and compassion and solidarity reign supreme from Isarog to Bicolan to Lofty Mayon Peak and beyond. Mabuhay ka mo, Gabos. Ateneo for God and you. We thank you, Attorney Lenny Robredo, Doctor of Humanities, Honoris Causa, our favorite public servant, for your inspiring words. <laughs>